What's up everybody? It's Nikki and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while folks and I apologize for that. However, I am back with another video. I wanted to do a quick, quick video, a short video, um, so I could kind of go over. I had posted about these two kind of drying options, hair dry options for people with relaxed or natural hair. So I've got the bonnet dryer here, the Kiss 1875. I did a video fully on this particular dryer a while back, so go back and check that out. I may have it down in the description or just up, up top here as a link. So you guys can go check that video out. It's fully just about this particular bonnet dryer. And I also did a video on the Beauty Lee, and I'll take it out of the packaging, but um, I did a video on this one as well. So I'll take it out of the packaging um, in, in the video. So anyway, I wanted to come and compare the two. Uh, just on a real quick video, Christmas is coming up, as you guys can see. Um, we have the Christmas tree, if you can see those lights kind of coming through there on the camera. But we have these coming up. Christmas is coming up. So you have the choices of kind of getting this for people that uh, need it for, uh, you know, doing their deep condition and things like that. So I thought that I would bring you guys a video to compare the two, just letting you guys know what I think about both of them now that I've had a chance to use them, maybe. Uh, so I wanted to do that video for you guys real quick. So if you're interested in my thoughts on these two based on the two videos I've already made about each one of them, as well as just me using them over time, stay tuned because I'm about to have that information for you guys next. So guys, so this is the dryer that I ended up buying first. Um, the 1875, Kiss 1875 bonnet dryer. And I had one, like I said in the other video, I had one a long time ago. So this one I ended up buying uh, just because I wanted another hooded dryer that I could sit underneath. This one also, um, that I found out a little bit later, this one also comes up a little bit it uh, is a little bit taller than what it looks like right here so you can actually stretch it out this comes out a little bit here so I did find that out a little bit later about that this one of course you can sit this one on the table and everything like that or sit it on a desk if you want to or however you want to do that so that you can have um, that kind of space underneath the hood of the dryer and you can just sit under there and let your hair air dry. A lot of people also use this whenever they're doing the roller sets and the perm rod sets and all of that. And then actually one of my sons that has locks in his hair, all three of my sons have locks in their hair, but he actually used it because he's got really super thick hair. So he used it to dry his hair a little bit faster than it normally would. Um, um, under regular you know circumstances just letting it dry so he did sit under this for a while and let his hair dry so it's very a lot of different uses that you can um, use this for again this is the way that you let this particular one down it's got different settings here which I love the high medium low and cold and then off um, so those settings are right there guys and um, it's got a cord that sits right in here as well so it's just easy you can carry it around this is how you let it down you can carry it around with you if you are traveling it clicks right here to close so it's very easy it's very um you know comp it's it's not as compact as something like this would be which i'm going to talk to you guys about next but it is pretty compact so you can just pick it up and go with it now i don't know if i would have chosen white again if they had another color because white does pick up a lot of you know just marks and dirt and stuff like that but you know if you clean it off kind of here and there when you're using it or whatever you won't pick up that much so like with mine it's not dirty really at all um because you know i just try to keep it clean or wiped off or whatever whenever i get done using it but i do really really like this one guys and i use this one very often i just you know keep it in my room when i'm getting ready to use it 
I'll just pick it up by the handle, either set it up in my room to, um, to you know, air dry, or I'm sorry, not air dry, to deep condition. Uh, I'll set it up in my room and just let it sit under it and go, right? So let me talk a little bit about this one and then I'll let you guys know kind of how I feel about both of them as a comparison. So with this one, obviously, you have to, this is the Conair Infinity Pro by Conair with, that has a diffuser and the concentrator in the box. So with this setup, of course, you have to take the dryer completely out of the box every time unless you, of course, use it for other things and you just have it stored somewhere, right? So you take this out, but this is super neat and cool, guys. So, um, and you can use this handheld dryer for a lot of different things too. Like if you're just, you know, blow drying your hair, you know, when it's relaxer time, like it is for me, um, you know, I could take and blow dry my hair, but I try to use um, heat that's not direct heat on my hair. I've done that for years and years and years. So this wouldn't really um, do well for me, but um, a lot of people do use this this and they use heat protectant on their hair before they actually blow dry but you can use this it has the hot warm cool and then high low and off right there and then it also just has a cool blower right here as well right and then this one is the one um, with it's got a long string on it or long power cord on it as well with the diffuser and everything that comes in it but so to use this other bonnet dryer that I have right here the beauty lee which again is really cool now don't get me wrong it's really 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 cool but you have to take it out of the packaging and then you have to put it on on here like so right and this one has you know little holes and stuff in it too to kind of let the air escape like it needs to in order to do the best job that it can to get your hair dry but this is the bonnet dryer here now it is compact it easy it's easy to travel with and stuff like that as well and it has the clips underneath for your chin like you guys can go watch in the other video I already did um, a review on this so definitely go check that video out guys I'll have it in the description box and then you have um, this that can you know close it in depending on how large your head is you can close it in to fit that space right beauty leaf so both are really good in order to get your hair your deep conditioning done and get your hair in the shape that it needs to be for your deep condition however my choice really is going to be the kiss bonnet dryer honestly and that's just because you know the hood is big you know it's large it's super large you can sit right underneath it it's what i'm used to as well with um being you know going to the salon and stuff like that this is really what i'm used to so i really like it i would like it in like a black or a gold or something like that i prefer but white white sticks out so much i like my car is white but i don't necessarily prefer this in white but it is nice i do like it still um and again this is super cool guys it really really is but i prefer this i would say over this but i want you guys to take some time and try to um, go back and look at these videos and see which ones you would like better neither one cost a whole lot i think again this one was maybe like forty dollars um the bonnet dryer here was about forty dollars and then this uh handheld dryer was maybe i don't know 20 something odd dollars and this was maybe about 13 13 to 16 dollars but this versus doing this i think i would prefer but taking this off like if you're going on vacation or something i think i'd probably my preference would be to take this versus taking that big bonnet dryer, I believe. So, and then plus, if you think about it, if you're in a hotel or something like that, um, sometimes they'll have shelving up front where the television is. Sometimes they'll have a TV stand or TV credenza, and sometimes they won't. So you have to think about that with travel and stuff. So Christmas is coming. New Year's is coming up. So this may be a better choice for you guys that are going to be traveling a lot during that time because you it's this is super more compact than this is so if you're trying to pack less 
and all of that, I believe this would probably be your best choice. But just for at home, you may want to try this right here. So, you know, like I said, guys, I just really wanted to bring you guys a super quick video to let y'all know um, kind of how things were going with, um, with both of the bonnet dryers. Because this was, is considered a bonnet dryer as well because it looks like a bonnet obviously right <laughs> so i just like i say wanted to let you guys know kind of how it was going with that and honestly speaking guys since i did the initial um deep condition with this one i haven't used it again since that because this one for me at home is just so much more convenient to just pick up and bring it in the kitchen area where I do my deep conditioning and just put it on there. And last week when I did deep conditioning, I just actually set that up in my room and um, put it on a uh, desk, a uh, portable desk. Just put it on there, watch some YouTube and <laughs> deep condition. So while this is super cute and it's, again, more compact than this, I definitely would prefer this for home and then I prefer this right here for traveling because you can just tuck this away in your suitcase along with this and um, you have your own hair drying system because you know guys in hotels they do have hair dryers they do but you don't know who's been using that hair dryer what kind of hair they had if they touch their hair dryer or touch their hair with that dryer all of those things you need to take into consideration when you're traveling and stuff and using those those hair dryers that are there and before all of this um, pandemic stuff kind of happened i was real wary of doing things like that anyway just because people you know sometimes are a little more germy than you are you know and they don't wipe stuff down and things like that so you're using the handle and all that of you know what other people have touched so traveling again i would consider getting this guys and check it out in the other video i did a full review on both of these items right here and um but for at home use again i think this is you guys would probably be you guys' best bet leave me some comments below and let me know if any of you guys already own this or if this is something you guys would um consider purchasing and also these as well do you guys already own a handheld dryer and what do you do with it do you just do you blow dry do you put heat on your hair directly or do you just use it for deep conditioning purposes all right so again guys it's been so good i'm so glad i'm back you guys will have another video next week i'm sorry i've been away it's like two months i've been away i couldn't even believe it when i saw it but i do appreciate you guys support when i've been away um i do see that a lot of my videos got a lot of views one especially got like 1100 views um about the comforter set that i uploaded so i appreciate you guys for watching that video because it's still comfortable it is still very comfortable and i'll probably end up ordering some more because we have um well at least one more um so anyway guys leave me some comments below don't forget to like subscribe become a subscriber don't hesitate to press that button leave me some comments below and um you know let me know of some other things like i say you know always leave me some comments about what else you guys would like for me to review because i'm down to pretty much review anything on this channel so just leave those comments as well i appreciate you guys so much for clicking on this video i really 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 do and i want you to love yourself and love each other and i'll see you in the next video guys